I think I think it was important that we tack the runs on, you know, because I thought we had some a bunch of quality at bats in the beginning and didn't have a whole lot to show for it, and um, and then to be able to you know get a little break, they make an error, and then to put four more, I thought was really good, and you know we got a great performance by CC, um, shut him down for seven innings, got some big double plays when he needed to, and uh, just a brilliant performance. McCann said he thinks that's the best changeup he's seen from CC in a long time. Did you see that as well? I did. I saw a lot of movement on it. I saw depth. I saw tail to it. You know, from where I'm at, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, I saw it and I saw some swings and misses, which is important. So I thought he really had a good changeup. I thought he had a good sinker, and I thought he had a good cutter. And later on, he had a good breaking ball. So it seemed like he had everything tonight. He has that pitch. What can that do for him moving forward as far as him being able to be effective the rest of the season? Well, I, you know, I think when he has all his pitches, he has two going one way and two going the other way, which I think is important, and they're all different speeds. Um, you know, he's pitched pretty good. You know, he's given us a chance to win um, a bunch, you know, four or five games, and I thought that was his best one. Ken just said, I, I'm glad that guy was on the mound when we needed to stop the bleeding. Is there still a sense of security, even though he hasn't maybe put up numbers that, that he has in past years when he takes the mound? Well, you never know. He, you always know he's never going to be overwhelmed, um, and he's going to compete his rear end off, and that's what he did tonight. Joe, how's the garden feeling? You know, he's pretty sore. Um, he x-rayed it. The x-rays are negative. I have my concerns about it, you know, moving forward for the next couple of days because of where he got hit. He got hit in the side here. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see how he feels tomorrow. What did he say when you went out on the field? Well, I mean, Garnie tells you just kind of, I'm okay, get away. Um, but, you know, we could tell it was sore. I could tell by the way he was reacting it was pretty sore because Gardy um, is usually pretty uh, <laughs> obnoxious in a lot of ways, and um, he wasn't saying much. I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure it out. What do you think of the night that Ellsbury had tonight? Big night. Um, really a big night for Els. Um, big night for Mac. Tex was on four times. You know, Gardy had a big hit. Um, guys at the top of the order did a really nice job. The Ellsbury all year has been trying to make things happen. Still home. Tried to take extra bases. He's just really been a motivator. Well, I mean, that's the reason we went and got him, because he's able to do those things. Those are the things that we want him to do, um, create havoc, um, put pressure on the defense, and get in the scoring position any way you can. So he's done a pretty good job. How, how important was uh, Carlos as a, at bat to kind of get that first run in? Well, I always think that's the most important run, the first one, because um, it kind of breaks the ice. So I thought it was really important. Uh, Guardy did a nice job a couple times getting the guy over. You know, that one he did it with a hit. Um, but I thought it was real important. With that run, Ellsbury scored on the sack fly. Were you at all surprised there was no throw home with knowing he, knowing what Jones could do? I think he mishandled it when he went into his glove. There would have been a throw. You've seen every pitch that CeCe's made as a Yankee. You've been here with him from day one here. What do you think it meant, meant to him to, to have that kind of performance here, given mm -hmm. the fact that you know, it was here that that, that yeah. really happened? Last I thought time. about that. I, I'm sure it meant a lot. Um, kind of thought about it as, you know, when we came into the ballpark and it was his day to pitch, the circumstances the last time were a little bit different, so um, I'm sure it meant a lot. It meant a lot for this club. So you guys have talked about Kansas City as a team, just one hit through the first five innings, and it like there was going to be another one of those nights, and then it just took a few, and you feel like everybody was feeding off each other? I think so. I think it happens. Um, you know, and I think it you know, can really get a team going, so hopefully it does. You don't like to get Dylan up twice in a game, but you had to bring him in there, right? I had to. Um, you know, you got one of the best home run hitters in the game up, um, and all of a sudden, you know, one swing of the bat, it's seven to four. So, also, does that help Dylan, Dylan after the last couple? Of yeah, I'm sure it does. You know, I, I thought he did a, a great job tonight. So, um, getting back on track. Where do you think CC this came from? Building along the line of uh, you know, has it how he developed all year? Well, I think it's just him understanding what he has, and I think it's been the improvement. In, of his sinker and the improvement of his changeup. Do you think he's learning how to pitch more? Or is that a lot, a lot of it? Yeah, I mean, I think he's had to make adjustments, and I think his, every day he goes out there, he probably learns a little bit more. Joey, I know you said you have to wait until tomorrow with Gardner, but would you be comfortable going with two bench players? Yeah, we've, we've done it before, so we'll figure it out. Are you going for any more testers? I mean, that's all we have planned right now.